been to school. In those days, they sent you home to get your mother, but she came, and I got hit by my mother and the teacher at the same time. And Miss Flanagan's class. He was here a oh, hundred years ago when Clara T. O'Connell was principal. <laughs> Clara T., I remember her. She used to walk around with a poker. And if she didn't like what she did, smash out the hands. That was it. Formal program. We have a wonderful DVD that one of our teachers put together with some of our gifted and talented students that I'm going to open it with that and uh, after the Kleenex is passed around and everybody's you know um, but I really wanted this to be a celebration because it's not just about alumni I got a lot of sad kids in this building who don't want to see their school close so it's kind of celebrating O'Connell so it's a mixture I've set it up so that we begin with the video and then we begin with um, alumni and, and I go kind of like chronologically so some of the older alumni um, a, one more more recent alum, alumna that uh, was valedictorian at Bristol Central High School a couple years back and, um, and then we end with our own fifth graders and then interspersed with that we have some performances by our fifth graders so it's kind of a celebration celebration of after 98 years you know this is what we were we were a neighborhood school I am very sad to see it close I've been here eight years and this it's an amazing place. It's an amazing place to work. The people are great. The Straw Dad's an amazing boss. I could never ask for a better boss than he is. And um, the people, it's just, it's one big family here. We're going to really miss it. We don't, nobody knows where they're going. We're going to be all spread out. And, you know, so it's, it's hard. It's bittersweet. You know, it's going right. to be difficult. What? I got to come and get a brick when they knock it down. We got to get